Oh my gosh. Okay. How is this going to... Okay. All right. So I'm going to talk about how Mark Shepard popped my photo op cherry, which is a true story. Yeah. Okay. So I was stressed out. Like his panel was before his photo op and like him coming out. I was just like, oh my god. Like, Loud and Swain started playing Mr. Crowley, and I'm like, ah! I wanted to cry. And I was punching my friend Mary in the leg really bad, and she had a bruise that was, like, this big, and it was deep purple and blue and green and nasty. And that was all because of Mark Shepard, and I just kept punching her. And she wanted to get away from me. She was originally... I was originally not sitting next to her, but people were nice because they knew that I loved Mark a lot. They were like, oh, why don't you get the aisle seat? And so they gave me the aisle seat and he walked around and uh, <laughs> he walked around in his panel and he saw my phone case, which was him. I have it somewhere. Hold on. <laughs> which was him. Oh my God. See, okay. And so I had this phone case on at the time and um it's not on right now because it's a velociraptor right now but um uh so i had this phone case and i was taking a video at the time and so i was like this and i was shaking so my quality was really bad and he saw that it was him and he winked at me and <laughs> i i i became a puddle of mush and i almost fell out of my chair like into the aisle where he was like I almost was like ah, like I almost dropped my phone and fall fell into a pile of mush and just anyways so I didn't know how I was gonna I knew I was gonna handle his um, photo op very well so uh I we get to the photo op like the hallway where it was and then Mary's like oh I'm gonna go call my mom because she called me during the panel I'll, I'll I'll see you later and I was like Bitch, you leaving me? You leaving me during this crucial moment in my life? And so she left me, and I'm standing there with a bunch of people cosplaying and running around trying to figure out where they're going. And I was like, I asked all these people online, I'm like, whose photo op are you in? And they're like, oh, we're in Mark. So I was like, oh, these are my peeps. Okay, so I get in line. And then this lady came out to me who was working, and she was like, oh, let me see your ticket. I handed her my ticket and she's like, oh, this is just for Mark. This is for Misha and Mark. And I'm like, you lied to me. Like, how dare you? And I, uh, so I had to leave the line and I'm like, well, well, where's Mark's photo op line? And she's like, oh, start it over here. And I'm like, oh, okay. And so I go over to the line. There were two people in front of me. Two. And I was like, oh God. I'm like, I can't, I can't, I can't be the third person in line. I'm like, no, I can't be third. And I like turn around to go like wait in line. And then there's already like a hundred people behind me. And I'm like, oh, oh shit. Sorry, Echo. And I was like, never mind. I'll just stand here. And so I was like, okay, like I'll, I'll start a conversation. I'll be social. I mean, everyone's been so accepting of me so far. And so I started talking. Everyone in near me in line was just like, I don't really care that he's Crowley. I just, his character could die. Like, I don't care. I just got all the photo ops because my dad bought that. Like, I was just like, am I the only one that likes Crowley around here? And I was just so mad. I was just like, he's an important character too. Like, like he's the most famous person on that show. Just to let everyone know. He is the most famous person on that entire show. Fuck you. And so, and I was just, I would have started a fight with this girl in front of me if I wasn't so nervous. I was, like, she was just awful. She was Bellevue mean trash. And I didn't like her. And um, I just want to be like, fuck you. Crowley's the best. And so I'm just, like, staying there in line and I'm shaking. And this woman who's, like, 10 people behind me who I wish I was in line with, she could see that I was shaking from like 10 people away from me. And she was like, dear, are you okay? Like she had someone like save her spot. And she came up to me and she was like, dear, are you okay? I can see you shaking from like 10 people back. And I'm like, no, I, I was, I was like, no, I'm not okay. And so, and anyways, so I go up to, we get into the room and Misha's leaving in his powdered blue blazer that we all made fun of all weekend long. And 
that his mom apparently picked out for him. And so he leaves and then it's just us, Mark and Chris. And so the people in front of me get their photo ops and then it's my turn. I'm going to cry. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to pass out or die. I don't know. Or, or my panties were going to fall off. There were three options. I think the third one happened. I swear to God, I, I wish we would have had a hotel room instead of staying at my house. I would like, staying at Mary's house I would have like gone up to my room and freaking changed I wish I would have <laughs> I had to walk around the rest of the day with that but anyways so we get him uh, I, I I get up there and he could see that I was freaking out and he he's just like darling everything's gonna be okay and I'm like <gasps> you only call me that in my dreams oh my god so he like wraps his arm around me and grabs my hip and I wrap my arm around, I snake my arm around him, like, really close to grabbing his ass, which I really, if there wasn't signs posted everywhere that we couldn't grab anybody's ass, <laughs> I would have. And, um, so then Chris takes our picture, and I love Chris. Chris, we love you. You make our dreams come true. And, um, then I, I go to leave. And I was trying really hard not to like drop the L bomb and say I love you or call him gorgeous or handsome because he said that he doesn't like to be like told that. He doesn't like it when people tell him that. He doesn't even like it when his fiance tells him that. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye, husband. I'm leaving. Ah. And then as I'm like snaking my arm out around him, like awkwardly shimmying away from him, he like grabs my hand, mwah, kisses it and says, I told you love, everything was gonna be okay. And I'm like, Ugh. I like panties off. I was just like, Mrr. like I wanted to cry. I wanted to jump on him. I was I I would climb him like a freaking tree. I didn't know whether or not to like I was like doing it on my knees. What do I do? There's people <laughs> and I was And so I was just like ah! and Chris was just like, "Okay." He's like, "Girl, you need to get out." And I'm like, "I'm sorry, Chris. I'm having a moment." And I leave. I go out into the hallway, Mary's still on her phone with, with with her mom, and she's like, oh god, Reagan's coming back, I have to go. I walk up to her, and she's like, oh, how'd it went? Or how'd, how'd it, not how'd it went? <laughs> god, I'm not that ghetto, and she's like, how'd it go? And I'm like, I scream at the top of my lungs, he was so sexy, and then I fell to the floor, got into the fetal position, and cried. For a good five minutes, I had to cry on the Hyatt carpet, and I cried in the fetal position over Mark Shepard, who was, like, six years older than my dad, and I cried, and I was so, like, I was, so, like, I couldn't read smutty fan fiction for, like, a week before the convention, because I was like, I don't want to get any ideas in my head, and then I instantly see him, and I'm like... <gasps> Oh, God, remember that smutty fanfic I read, like, two weeks ago about the thread? I'm like, oh, God, stop, stop, stop. What if I could, what if I could read my mind? And I'm like, mm, I'm just, oh. like, I was, I was so freaking turned on the whole weekend. <laughs> can't handle it. But anyways, I can't wait to go back to the convention in March because I just, I'm, other than meeting like the cast, it was so, it just, everyone there was so amazing and accepting. And I just, I had like this conversation with this woman who's going to conventions for like the last like 30 years, like back when it was like, like bad to go to conventions. And she was like telling me like all the stuff when she went to like Star Trek conventions and she met freaking William Shatner and she's gone to Sa like San Diego Comic-Con and I'm like, <gasps> Oh my god and like I was like talking to her about like all this stuff and I was just like this is my family like why do I have to be stuck with my family I I I I, I can't wait to be in the loving arms of my family again and it's just gonna make me so happy and I just love this fandom so much and it just makes me cry and 
I can't I can't wait to go to SeaCon and then I can't wait to go to Ch Chicago Con. However, there I don't know how you say it. The 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 abbreviated form is stupid. Chicon like what? Sheer Con? Are you a tiger? What is this? Anyway, I can't wait to go to Chicago Con and be Allie and Molly and I'll just like sit there and cry. <laughs> like I'm gonna be so excited and I'm just gonna love it and I just. Ah! Okay, thanks for watching. I love you. Yay. Always keep fighting, people. I love you. Mwah. Oh, Mike Shepard. Like, as you can see, I'm not pregnant from him. <laughs> Drats. It's been nine months. I should have, I, my, I should be like that, right? <laughs> Why can't you get pregnant from physical contact? Okay, God, what's wrong with me? I need to stop. Okay. It's over now. I'm I'm done. <laughs>